Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm answering question number three from the January 2020 International A Level at Excel Statistics S1 paper. This question here is about regression and correlation. They told us about this company called Sopern sells washing machines. When a customer buys a washing machine from Sopern, the customer is also invited to buy a guarantee policy to cover breakdowns and repairs for the next three years. The manager of Sopern believes that the relationship between the number of washing machines sold, M, and the number of guarantee policies sold, P, can be modelled by a straight line. She collected data each month for 10 months. The scatter diagram below illustrates these data. Okay, so P is the policy and M is the number of machines, right? So P against M here, right? <clears throat> now, the data are summarized by the following statistics. The sum of M, that's the sum of washing machines sold, is 1,124. The sum of P, the sum of policies sold, is 281. The sum of the, the, uh, the products of M times P, right? So the, for example here, M times P, M times P and so on, is 32,958. Um, and then you have this SMM and SPP, which are to do with the variance, how, um, you know, P, M varies amongst its data with itself and how P varies, all the P, val P values, how, how spread out they are from their mean, basically. It's got something to do with that. That's what SMM and SPP are. So to show that SMP is 1,373.6. So what we need to do here is we need to use a formula for SMP, all right? Now, there's a formula in the formula sheet, which is for this, and it's the formula for SXY. Now, in this case, our X is the M, and our Y is the P, right? Because that's what takes place of the axes. So if we go to the formula sheet, you'll see some formula like here. Now, what we're looking for is S x y okay which is given by this formula i'll just take the whole thing with me well, we only need a part of it i'll take the whole of this let me just do that better so we'll take the whole of this and we'll just take what we need from it now okay so So basically, what we need here is we need to find SMP, which is going to be basically here the sum of x, y. Now, x, our x is our m, and our y is our p. So this is the sum of x, y, so it's the sum of mp, minus the sum of x, which is the sum of m, times the sum of y, which is the sum of p, in our case, over n. And n is the number of entries in the data and they've told us that there are 10 entries you collect data each month for 10 months so n is equal to 10 here all right so we can say smp is therefore is equal to the sum of mp which we're given us 32,958 minus the sum of m which is 1,124 times the sum of p which is 281 over 10 and that should give us what we are looking for so we have here 32,958 minus, we have um, 1124 multiplied by 281, and that is over 10. And that gives us 1,373.6, 1,373.6, and that's exactly what we had to show here. Okay, so we've shown it by showing these steps here. All right, so that's part A done. Now for part B. Find the value of the product moment correlation coefficient for these data. So we've got to find the value of R. R is the product moment correlation coefficient. Now, R is given by an, a formula, which is also in the formula sheet, which is this formula over here. This is the formula for R. Okay, so that's the formula for R. So I'm going to take that and put it over here where we need it. So that's what R is equal to. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula to find R. The product co moment correlation coefficient is basically a numerical measure that tells us how closely 
um, the points fall in a straight line and it tells us whether it's positive or negative correlation as well, right? So this is basically S, in, the, in this case SMP, which we found already, over the square root of SMM times SPP. And we have all of those things. Okay, we now know SMP is 1,373.6. We were actually already told that anyway. Even if we didn't know how to calculate, we could still use it in part B and get the marks. And we know that the sum of SMM, well, we know the square root of SMM, we know SMM is told to us already, 6,046.4 multiplied by SPP, which is 382.9. So that, if you stick that in our calculator, should give us our answer. So we're going to have the last answer, which we just had in the calculator, which was this over the square root of 6046.4 yep times and we have 382 382.9 382.9 that's right so that gives us 0 0.902 753 0 0.902753 so we'll round it to 3sf we'll have 0 0.903 so that's the value of R. And then part C says state giving a reason whether or not the data are consistent with the manager's belief. Well, the manager believes that the data is modeled or can be modeled. Um, the relationship between the number of washing machines um, can be modeled by a straight line. And of course, this shows that because R is, R is close to 1. R is close to one therefore it shows that the points are very strongly correlated correlated with a positive linear correlation positive linear correlation this tells you the linear correlation okay um, Co relation. Okay, so R is close to one. That's a key thing. It's almost one. That means the points are very strongly correlated with a positive linear correlation. All right, so therefore close to a straight line, close to a straight line. So her, so therefore it's consistent with her belief. Consistent with her belief so you should mention that of course with better handwriting than me but that's fine okay so r is close to one so we can say um yes they are consistent we should start with that maybe okay so with her belief why and then you can justify it okay brief reason so we can write that at the end Okay. Okay, so we can say here, so close to a straight line. So close to a straight line. Okay, they make a straight line basically. All right, so there's part C done. Um, then part D it says the manager noticed that the total number of washing machines sold was K times the total number of guarantee policies sold and suggested a model of the form P equals 1 over K times M where K is an integer. Okay, find the value of K. So the total number of washing machines sold is going to be the sum of M, which is 1,124. And the total number of policies sold is going to be um, 281. So basically, we can just replace the P with 281, and we can replace the M with 1,124. So therefore, we can say K is equal to 1,124 divided by 281. And that should give us our answer. 1,124 divided by 2,081, and that gives us 4. So we say, therefore, K is equal to 4. Okay, pretty simple. All right, then it says, Jiang works for SOPEN and thought that this model oversimplified the situation and suggested that a linear regression of P on M might be more appropriate. Okay, so find the equation of the linear regression of P on M. 
okay, of P on M. So we've got P on M. And remember, we have, it's supposed to be Y on X. So P is our Y and M is our X. All right, now, the regression line, again, the formula for that is given in the formula book. And there's a little phrase here saying that the least squares regression line of Y and X is given by this formula, Y equals A plus BX. Okay, let me just put this over here. Okay, so the least squares regression line of y and x is given by this formula, y equals a plus bx. All right, they've told us a is a mean of y minus b times the mean of x, and they told us that b is equal to sxy over sxx. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write, rewrite this in terms of p on m. Okay, y on m, p on y on x, p on m. So this is p on m is what we're looking for. So we can see the y is our p. So I'll put p equals a plus b times and x is our m and we know that a is equal to the mean of y which is the mean of p minus b times the mean of x which is the mean of m all right so now we can also work out that this is equal to s and this is going to be s m p which we already were told to find in the first part and they gave you the value of it anyway over s x x now x is m so it's s m m Okay, so with this information, we can go ahead and find what we need. So the first thing we need to do is we need to write the equation. This is the equation we need. We need to know what A is and what B is. Okay, now we can't find A until we found B because A is equal to the mean of P minus B times the mean of M. So we've got to find B first. And B is given by this formula, SMP over SMM. Now SMP okay, is already found in the first part of the question, 1,373.6, that she told us that to, to show that. And SMM is given in the, in the summary data already, 6,046.4. So that's what B is. So I'm going to write it to 3SF here, but I'm, I'll use this, this value when I'm um, calculating other things first. So this divided by 6,046.4. Okay, so... That gives you uh, 0 0.22717. 0 0.2271. Okay, 76 goes on. So we can say that that's to 3SF 0 0.227. So that's the value of B, 0 0.227. But I will use this fraction when I'm working out what A is, because I know A is equal to the mean of P minus B times the mean of M. So the mean of P is the sum of P, okay, over N. And you're going to have B times the mean of M, which is the sum of M over N. So you've got the sum of P, which is 281 over 10, because there's 10 entries, minus B, which is what we just found, which I'll write in its more precise form, the fraction that I use to calculate it, multiplied by the mean of m, which is the sum of m, which is 1124, divided by 10. Now that's going to give me what a is. So I can stick that in my calculator. So I'll have, that will be, um, that will be 28.1. I don't need to put that as a fraction, it's easy. 28.1 minus, and then I have uh, my last answer, okay, times, then I have 1124, divided by 10, which again, I didn't need to do that anyway. That gives me 2.565. Okay, so B is equal to 2.5, sorry, A is equal to 2.56536. 2.56536, da, da, da. So therefore, we can say A is equal to 2.56. Okay, 2.5, no, 565, 2.57. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just rewrite that I didn't write it down properly so it gives us 2.5653 2.5653 goes on so therefore we can say a a is equal to 2.57 to 3 sf so that's b and that's a so now we can write down the least regret squares regression line of p on m so we can say p is equal to A, which is 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57, 2.57,
plus b which is 0 0.227 times um, m okay this is the least squares relation line of p on m okay so we found the value of b we found the value of a and we put them together into this formula and we found now the re least squares regression line of p on m okay so that's how you can deal with that then it says using yang's model to estimate uh, or use yang's model to estimate the number of guarantee policies sold when 70 washing machines are sold so we know that his his model is p equals um 2.57 2.57 plus 0 0.227 times m. So you want to find what p is when m equals 70. So p is 2.57 plus 0 0.227 times 70. Now we can use these rounded values for this is absolutely no problem. 2.57 uh, plus 0 0.227 times 70. That gives us 18.46. So we can say, therefore, 18.5. Okay, so that's uh, the number of guarantee policies sold when 70 washing machines are sold in a month. It's roughly 18.5. Okay, so there's part F done of this question. Um, and now we're going to go on to part G. Okay, now for part G, it says usually um, about 70 washing machines are sold in January. Sopern decides to offer a bonus to staff during January based on the number of guarantee policies sold. If the number of guarantee policies sold is greater than the number estimated by the model, the bonus will be paid. State giving your reasons whether you would recommend that the staff use the manager's model or Yang's model. Okay, so let's see. Um, when M equals 70, we had Jiang's model. Um, Jiang's model gave P equals... 18 point what was it 18.5 okay the manager's model okay now if we look at the manager's model that was the, the simple model the manager's model was the model that we have up here which is where k equals 4 so it's p equals 1 quarter m okay p equals 1 over 4 m so we can say that um that's going to be 1 over 4 times 70. So we take 70 divided by 4. That gives us 17.5. Okay, so the staff, for them to get a bonus, um, to get more, more of a bonus, they're going to um, have to sell more than these amounts. So if they... If they use a manager's model, there's more chance of them getting a bonus. Okay. Should use the manager's model. Model. Okay. Because um, they are more. Should use as, as they are more likely than to get a bonus. Likely. To, to get a bonus because the number of policies they have to sell is less okay so therefore they're going to get uh, the bonus for selling less policies okay less policies need to be sold something like that it's only worth two marks you don't have to go into too much detail need to be sold okay for bonus something like that all right so there's the answer to part g and that concludes this question number three from the January 2020 S1 International A-Level at Excel paper. This question uh, or this question um, can be, um, sorry, the other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here at the end of the video. Other questions from this topic of correlation and regression, they're collected in the playlist that will appear in this region. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.